beautiful summer's day in Venice and today we will be exploring the famed culture of the Venetian Mass. The wearing of masks in Venice goes back as far as the 12th century. During this time, Venetians, both upper class and lower class, wore masks at celebrations and parties to conceal their identity. Aristocrats and peasants, disguised by their masks, could be whoever they wanted to be and do whatever they wanted to do. These days, Venetian masks are typically only worn during the Carnival of Venice and at parties. However, strolling along the Venetian streets, you will see shops selling a wide array of Venetian masks. From the simple to the most extraordinary. Today, we will be creating and decorating a Venetian mask with Venetian-born Giorgio Galasso, who to this day carries on this ancient tradition. Let's check this out. Looking at this shop, it's so beautiful. You have so many masks of different types. How many years of experience do you have doing these masks? Uh, almost 30 years. My life with the glitter. Every time when I come home, every night, my wife see me and don't say hi Giorgio, say go in the shower. <laughs> so Giorgio, tell us more about why the Venetian mask is so popular and what is the history, what is the origin of this mask? The origin is the carnival. Then because Venice is a very rich town and then all the merchants of Venice spend the money outside. Mm. Okay. So the Carnival of Venice is a huge, magnificent party. Exactly. And uh, the second thing in the Carnival, everybody are the same and then you must wear the mask. Oh, because, so even today, everybody must yeah, wear masks during the Carnival of because Venice. Because if you have a mask, I don't know if you are rich or power. Right. They don't just say that. So everybody's of the same level, right? Everybody yes. can mingle, upper class, middle class. Everyone's the same because you are disguised by the mask. Exactly. The first mask you find in Venice is that, the doctor of the plague. The doctor of the plague? It's not a carnival mask, okay. but the, the doctor wear this because they think the plague is in the air. Pantalone, Colombina and Arlecchino is the three most important masks we have we are from the Commedia dell'arte. Pantalone, it's a very old but very rich, is your mask. Colombina and Arlecchino is the two servants of Pantalone. Pantalone love Colombina, Colombina love Arlecchino. Oh, so it's a three-way love triangle. Exactly. <laughs> okay. The name of this mask is Moretta. Moretta. It's an historic mask, okay? And uh, it's the first mask we produce in Venice for ladies and uh, hang the mask with the mouth. With the mouth, so you bite yeah, this. You bite like this. Right, so if you look here, there is a place that you can bite and that's how you wear the mask. And they can attach a string as well. The secret to paint a good the mask is just one. Use a small quantity every time. Right. Then so I small want quantity of paint. See. You spread the color very very well on the mask mm. because we go to paint the mask two times. So two coats of paint. With the first layer we just cover the white, you see? Okay. With the second layer, we really painted the mask. The first coat is just a base and it's meant to be quite thin as, I, as what he showed earlier. So this is the first layer done and dried. I'm going to paint the second layer now. So just conscious that I don't want to make um, the second layer too thick. Otherwise, some the painting will look quite uneven. So yeah. 
hands of a painter. Well, you can tell the difference between an amateur painting and a professional one. Oh, they'll all look beautiful at the end. Anyone can paint. Isn't the it? technicalities <laughs> of painting, which, you know, a lay, pa a lay person would just be like, let's cover all the white spots. <laughs> well, that's the trick, right? With this, uh, we do all the decoration. Now we do a, a really very special thing with the two color of glitter. Two color glitter. Georgia's work of art. Oh wow! Oh man, that's gonna be so pretty. Now we paint yeah. to do the reflex. All right. Just a little bit but really okay mm -hmm. and the finger like that okay look later we will put glitter as well right sure. okay i like the glitter bit as you mm. can tell <laughs> okay you try okay so just like that sure okay Ah, creating some gold effect. So the expert does his magic. Look at that magic happening in the hands of Giorgio Galasso. So fast how he does that. Gold quota. Voila, this is our product today. Thank you so much, Giorgio. This looks amazing. How pretty. So, Giorgio, th this is the Venetian mask, right? Would you yeah. say this is a modern design or a traditional one? It's uh, in between. Between, mix of between, traditional yes, and modern. The traditional and the modern. So, Giorgio, in one and a half hours, this became this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This must be a very interesting job. I mean, you know, looking around your shop, there are masks of different shapes and sizes and you know, it's an art. It's, you know, you get to be creative in your job and you meet, I can imagine you meet people from all around the world who come to Venice to make the mask. What is your experience like, um, you know, doing this job and running this business? I love my job because I can speak with the people from all over the world. In the last three decades of running this business, how many people from how many different countries have you met? Oh, I remember people from South Africa or Oman or uh, Australia, many Australia, New Zealand, uh, from Iceland, uh, Russia, United States, Canada, from, from everywhere. The people from all corners of the world come here into this studio, into this workshop to create masks and they bring this piece of, you know, memorabilia with them home. Well, thank you so much, Giorgio, for enlightening us and teaching us about the origins and history of the Venetian mask. I've learned so much today and it's been so interesting. And of course, thank you for this absolutely gorgeous beauty that I get to keep with me and take home to a piece of Venice with me to Singapore. Thanks, Giorgio! Bye! Bye!